Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. Remember, it's makes from the Mix Creation. If it's your first time coming across this channel, support this channel by subscribing to this channel. By the way, don't forget to hit that notification bell because it's always very important. It will always update you wherever we upload a new video. Thank you so much. The returning subscribers, the old subscribers, the new subscribers, thank you so much. We appreciate In today's video, I'm just going to go through a frequently asked question in the comment section. And that is all about what you call the check-in agent. By the way, who is a check-in agent? Most of you, or most of us have ever, maybe we've tried to see these people around, but we don't know exactly what they tend to do and what is their role and what are their skills. So in this video, we are going to look at who is a check-in agent? Who is a check-in officer? Sometimes it's called a service agent or customer service agent. Sometimes it's called a passenger service agent. Sometimes it's called a boarding agent. What are their responsibilities? By the way, if you are to come to, if you are planning to be one of them, or if you are planning to go in that kind of profession, what kind of roles do you expect to serve? What kind of skills do you need to have? That is also very important. Yes, much as most of the time we look for jobs, we look them in one way or the other, but also skills will matter because the skill that you have the skill that is needed for that job is that the job is, is one of the things that is going to make your job or your role enjoy. Because you need to enjoy something that you do for you to have it, to feel it, and to make work simpler. First of all, first of all, what we call a check-in agent, there are different names that can be called. It can be a check-in agent, it can be an airline customer service agent, it can be a passenger service agent agent it can also be or he can also be referred to what we call a boarding agent those are different terms or different names that can be given to mean the same the same category or the same person then what are their responsibilities most of their responsibility include or rotate around what you call the customer care services customer care services is very important remember for you to go into what you call customer care services you need to be a little, you need to have what you call communication skills. And you must be one person who can be able to handle pressure. Because customers complain never hate. Definitely, you know what I am I'm talking about. Even, some, even something small, the customer needs to, he may complain, but how then tentatively do you make that person satisfied with the service that you're providing, which is quite very important. Main of the responsibility, let us look at the responsibility. One, the responsibility will include the following if you are going to apply for that position. One, check in what you call the passengers. You are checking in the passengers. For example, we've seen these people at the airport. Then also, another responsibility is weighing and checking in baggages or what you call the baggage, your luggage at the airport. Then another responsibility you will need to know all the responsibility you, you are assured to do is what we call issuing what we call boarding passes, which is quite very important. Also, labeling or allocating seat numbers. That is also another responsibility of check-in agent or what you call a passenger service agent or a boarding agent, as you may call it in any term. Then also you need to ask asking what you call security questions. It's also another responsibility of you as a check-in agent. Remember when sometimes when you go to the airport, they'll ask you, where are you going? Okay. That is a security question. They need to identify which kind of person they are dealing with or which kind of person is boarding the plane. Then also, it is answering what you call the passenger's queries prior to the flight. If, for example, one customer came and is asking you this and this as a check-in agent, you should be able to give that person answer. That is what you call customer care. So you must be aware. You must be updated wherever it is happening. Well, however, something that you need to do, something that you need also to know is that due to the long hours, at the airport, sometimes the pattern of shift may be changing. As a check-in agent, you may be required to work overnight. You may be required to work early morning. Remember, this is a role, this is a role that we are talking about. You are dealing directly with what you call the customer. So, meaning that if you are dealing directly with the customer, you should have, should have what you call good communication skills. 
and he should be a person who can work under pressure. That is what it is. So being in that kind of approach, being in that kind of uh, situation whereby you need to deal with the customers directly, you need to have what we call the roles that you're supposed to follow or roles, the roles that you're supposed to play. So in the next in the next session, let us look at what are the roles. What are your roles other than and as is what you call a check-in, a service, or what you call uh, airline customer service agent. What are your roles? What are you supposed to do? One, you are supposed to greet passengers on arrival at the airport. Hello, hi, sir. Hey, ma'am. Can I help you? Hello, sir. Hello, ma'am. You know, it, in a kind of, uh, you know, with a smile. Because that is part of your, that is part of customer service. You're not going to greet someone with a very gloomy face. That is part of you. We are looking at aviation. We are looking at you dealing with a different wide range of customers that are coming from different diversity cultures. So what you need to do is you need to have those communication and with a smile. Then also you should be able to answer any queries passengers might be inquiring about on the journal. What does it mean? That those queries that you need to answer, in case someone comes in front of you, you say, I need to go to this area, or I am boarding the plane going to this area. What time will be the flight? You need to be, to be able to answer. You need to be updated. You need to be updated what is going on. Because the moment you give something that is fault, in case you, 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 you alter something that I do not know, then that is another perspective. It will indicate to the customer that you are not fit to be in that position. Then also, checking in, checking in, booking and issuing what you call the boarding passes. You've seen, those, you've seen those customer cares at the airport. They check your baggage, they'll give you a boarding pass to proceed to the next level or to proceed to another level. You buy in one or the other. They'll check where your luggage, then they'll give you what you call a boarding pass. Then also, the check-in agent's role is keeping passengers updated in the changes in the flight. That is why at the airport, you normally will have what you call an announcement. There will be an announcement speakers. Flight number number this, go to get boarding pass now, boarding gate number this. In case you are being given in that role that you are working, you are going to work in what you call announcement section. Definitely, that is going to be part of your role. You should be someone who is audible. You should be someone who can speak out. Someone who, you know, you need to speak loudly such that people can do understand. They definitely do understand one more thing. Then also another role is directing what you call the car passengers. You direct the passengers to the correct gate or to the flight where they're supposed to go. That is where someone will ask you, please, I'm getting to this flight. Can you please help me tell me the gate number? Yes, in the right way. You need to know. You need to be updated. That is part of your role. Then also, another role is weighing and checking the luggage. They need to know how much required kilo you're supposed to move with the plane on the flight. If that is required, that's why they would give you a sticker and what you call the weight seeker approved and what you give you the boarding pass to go to, uh, to, to the next gate. Also, you must be responding, responding to customers in what you call a calm manner. We, we say it in a very calm way, a polite way, with a smile, not with a gloomy face. Smiling is part of your role, is part of your job. Because no customer is going to is, is going to want to see someone who is uh, with a gloomy face, and you definitely know you're dealing with customer. You're selling the service. You're selling your service. Then also we look at what you call there may be also general administration duties that may be accorded depending on your role or depending on the organization that you are working in. Then still something else that we need to know what are the other roles is checking what you call the boarding passes or passports at the boarding gates. That's why they will ask for your boarding pass and your passport to see whether the two connives or whether the two are together. Your boarding pass must be included your passport and that is exactly the actual person that they are letting to board on the plane. Hope I've tried to, uh, to share something. For people who ask about that at home, I've tried to give you the insight of what happened. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video. Remember, it's Max from the Max Creation. By the way, if it's your first time to come across this channel, consider subscribing. We are looking at a road to 4,000 subscribers. I need your support, guys. Thank you for supporting me.
the new time my subscribers we are looking at a road to 4000 subscribers it's you guys to make it it's your support to make it thank you so much see you again in the next video it's mixed from the next creation